Hello, everybody, and welcome back for a VR rundown. As always, I am Mateo311, and today we're checking out an adaptation of City Skylines created specifically for VR. This city building slash economy management simulator will be wildly addictive for some, while others may feel the need for an engineering and finance degree just to figure this title out. So make sure to stick around for the verdict to know if it's right for you. So before we get into my standard review format, followed by some gameplay, I would love to hear in the comments if you were someone who used to play SimCity or City Skylines. There are, of course, the links and timestamps if you want to jump around this video. Well, let's get started with the summary. Cities VR is currently available on the Quest 2 for $29.99. It's developed by Fast Travel Games, the studio behind multiple other successful VR titles such as Apex Construct, The Curious Tale of Stolen Pets, and Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife. It's a highly complex city building and resource management simulator that allows you to design neighborhoods, construct buildings, direct the flow of traffic, all while handling the economics, emergency services, and much more of your city. Currently, VR has nothing at all like this title available, and Cities VR will launch with absolutely zero competition. But that will change in the near future with Little Cities VR from End Dreams. Unfortunately, I can't compare the two titles in this video, but I will do so when Little Cities VR launches. But focusing on the game we can talk about, Cities VR, this is not a title of instant gratification. It takes time, skill, and dedication to build a thriving city. But for those of you who enjoy the journey, it's a truly rewarding experience. Now, I try to be as objective as possible with my reviews, but we know this is a highly subjective topic, and the best I can do is let you know about my overall experience. As someone who grew up with and loved the SimCity series for over a decade, I was instantly intrigued for this title. When I later learned that it was a VR adaptation of City Skylines, I had a bit of mixed feelings, as it was a title I only dabbled in due to its intimidating complexity and steep time requirements. Fortunately though, these are all attributes that VR gamers are currently looking for. You can lose yourself in this game for countless hours, and Cities VR is challenging, time consuming, and ultimately rewarding. Even if you enable unlimited money, an option that's available from the very start of the game, it's still difficult to build a thriving city. In one of my first early attempts, I mayored myself into running a poverty ridden, water contaminated hellhole full of disgruntled citizens. Cities VR requires careful planning, well thought out design, and lots of future considerations. Build too much commercial property without residents? Well, then it's destined to become a vacant eyesore. Build enough schools, but forget public transportation? Your citizens will remain uneducated. And this is just a few of the minor concerns. We haven't even looked at the complex economy yet. So yes, there is definitely a lot to learn and manage in this title. And the basics might take a few hours before you feel completely comfortable. Even then, it's still pretty easy to make mistakes like accidentally building a road that cuts through your power lines or demolishing the wrong building. This title can also be quite unforgiving when you do screw up, especially if your city is currently in freefall and you need every single dollar to help bring it out of collapse. Now, this level of challenge and complexity will either make or break the title for most people. Managing the needs and complaints of a couple thousand virtual citizens doesn't equate to a chill gaming experience, but this title definitely grew on me. I did have some non-mechanical complaints though, namely the lackluster graphics that don't even match the 2015 City Skylines title. As your city grows, you're gonna be zooming out more, forcing you to look straight down, which is not the most comfortable position while wearing a VR headset. And while we're speaking about size, the overall landscape that you're given to design your city is much smaller than what's available in city skylines. But at the same time, the VR perspective definitely adds some new dimension. So from here, the next question is, do I recommend this title? If you're looking for instant gratification to just sit back, chill and create with something like a canvas that you could just paint your city on. Well, in that case, this might not be the ideal title for you. But if you are looking to dive into a complex and rewarding city building system, this is absolutely fantastic. Fans of City Skyline should feel right at home as this is basically a clone. And if you've never experienced a city builder, it's a rare treat to have on a mobile device. So here's the verdict. Cities VR is currently a one of a kind VR title offering up countless hours of challenging city building. And if you're not afraid to fail multiple times or commit multiple hours into learning the ropes, I highly recommend it. The pros include complex, challenging, addictive, and ultimately rewarding gameplay. And there's nothing else like it on the quest, at least for right now. 
The cons include lackluster graphics with a high reliance on foveated rendering, and there's a steep learning curve that delays some gratification. Okay, so let's jump into some gameplay of me being an absolutely terrible mayor. I started this map with unlimited money and just started building. My overscaling led to commercial areas popping up with no one to staff them, so they quickly became vacant buildings, bringing down the overall property value. Even though I over allocated education services, Poor transportation led to a highly uneducated community. And finally, my water pump station was downstream from my dumping station, leading to some highly contaminated water. So basically, my city quickly devolved into the dystopian society from idiocracy. Now I restarted my progress on a few separate maps and soon my cities were doing much better. I was slowly building to scale, allowing residents to move in first, then giving them some office buildings and commercial areas. I made sure to plan out my electrical and water services and continued to add only what my community needed. Now, if you're doing this with unlimited money, it is still a slow process, but things will trickle down to a near crawl if you have to properly manage your economy. Now, luckily you can speed up or slow down the pace of the game, but you have to be on the lookout for issues when you are in fast forward because things can spiral out of control rather quickly. Now, in a traditional run, you do not have access to everything right off the bat. You will have to unlock things as your city grows. Now, whichever mode you choose is up to you, but I do recommend everyone goes through the tutorial. As you can see right here, it walks you through all the controls, which do take a little time to get used to, but they have an excellent step-by-step -step guide, which forces you to complete every task. So that's everything you need to know about Cities VR. I'm curious if after this review, you're more or less likely to get it, and I'd love to hear your feedback down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, everybody, I'll see you on next time.